Well, TJ, it's a, an organic product that's de derived from a, a sphagnum dehydrated peat moss. Mm -hmm. And then, then we process it to a certain consistency, like this one you see here. And it's organic, so that helps. Yeah, 100% organic. It's also microbial, which means it has microbes in it that will actually eat the oil that's absorbed in the product over a period of time. Okay, and we, uh, I know you contacted BP as well. We'll tell people in a second the reaction you got from BP. But show us, first of all, we have the water here. You got some oil, so just go ahead and walk us through it. Okay, well, I'm going to demonstrate here a little bit of uh, motor oil. Let's get this out of the way. Just throwing some oil in there, all right. A little transmission fluid, give it a little dark color. <laughs> get some vinegar, we'll get some lettuce and tomato. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, just throw a little bit down on there, on okay. the spill. And so what's it, what's it doing? What's it supposed to be doing? <laughs> Suppose this was the gulf and you threw this stuff on top of it. Uh, you see the dark color? I don't know if the audience can see, but it's dark in color. Okay. That means it's already come in contact with a petroleum product. Okay. At this point, it's already out of the water, believe it or not. It's not in the water anymore. Uh, in fact, uh, I want to simulate a, a feather dust, a, a duck floating in the, in, the absor in the spill area. No oil. And no oil that comes out on it. Just a little of that, that, that moss. Duck's, it's, duck's fat. it's encapsulated in the product. It's not in the water. So you just skim it right out. And it would, so would you go back and then scoop it up? You would skim scoop it, it all up? Yeah, skim it out. It's huh. much easier uh, uh, to do it that way. There's no need for vac trucks or vacuums. Now, this would so work. Now, you're using a little motor oil and some things here, but you're saying this would work on the same... Yeah, Bunker C crude. Uh, crude oil, no oil on my hands. Huh. Now, uh, now, tell us. We know you got a hold of, uh, of BP, and you put your idea out there as well. Give us an, I think you said you got a hold of them almost immediately after the disaster about happened. About three days after I called, they gave me a number. Uh, they emailed me a form. I uh -huh. filled out the form. Uh, I'm... Putting that, I'm sorry, I'm putting, yeah. doing oh, one more ahead, demonstration please. for you while we're talking. Uh, I filled out the form, and uh, about a week later, they, uh, they just said that they don't think it would be a, a appropriate or a type of product they would need at the type of spill that they have. And did you buy what they were saying? Do you, no, do you think they have their reasons for it, or do you still disagree and think you could help out? No, I, I think that I don't have the solution. No one does. Yeah. I don't have one product that will take care of it. Uh, no, one, no one does. Yeah. Uh, but I think that my product could definitely be helpful on water spills, especially uh, in wetlands and marshlands because it's microbial okay. and it encapsulates on contact. And one more time, what this stuff is, this is just some oil. Sphagnum dehydrated peat moss is dried out and then we process it, as I said, to this consistency.